I've always been a fan of convenience. When the world shifted towards on-demand services, I eagerly embraced the ease of ordering food online. With just a few clicks, a warm meal would appear at my doorstep. Little did I know that behind this veil of convenience lurked a sinister secret. It all began on a stormy night when a sudden craving for pizza overwhelmed me. The thunderous downpour outside only heightened my desire for a cheesy, mouth-watering slice. Ignoring the nagging voice in my head, I decided to place an order from a relatively unknown food delivery app called Nightbite. Within minutes, the confirmation came through, accompanied by an eerie notification. It read, prepared to be consumed. At first, I dismissed it as a clever marketing ploy to build entry. Little did I realize that it was an omen of the horror that was about to unfold. I anxiously waited, my stomach growling in anticipation. The minutes stretched into an eternity, and just when I had given up hope, a faint knock echoed from my front door. Hesitant but driven by hunger, I swung it open to reveal a hooded figure standing in the shadows. The person's face was concealed beneath the dark cloak, leaving only their piercing eyes visible. A sense of dread washed over me, but the scent of freshly baked pizza wafting from the figure's bag dulled my instincts. I paid the hooded stranger, their bony fingers gripping the cash with an unnatural coldness. As I eagerly unpacked the pizza, a creeping unease settled within me. The cheese glistened eerily, the pepperoni seemed too perfectly placed, and the crust appeared impossibly flawless. A shiver ran down my spine, but my hunger drove me to ignore the mounting sense of dread. With each bite, the flavors exploded on my tongue, but something was off. The taste was unlike any pizza I had ever experienced, rich, tangy, and strangely addictive. My hunger was insatiable, and I devoured slice after slice, the sinister delight filling the void within me. As I reached for another slice, my hand froze midair. My surroundings shifted, and the room took on a ghastly ambience. The once familiar walls seemed to pulsate with a malevolent energy. Panic surged through my veins as I realized I was trapped in a nightmare of my own making. I glanced down at the remaining pizza, horror seizing my heart. The slices writhed and squirmed, tiny tendrils snaking out, desperate to consume. In that moment, I understood the true nature of Nightbite's service, an unholy covenant to feed the insatiable hunger that dwelled within the darkest recesses of the human soul. Desperation fueled my escape, and I clawed my way through the room, desperate to reach the front door. But the house seemed to shift and elongate, turning into a labyrinth of twisted corridors and endless rooms. The walls whispered malevolent secrets, and shadowy figures lurked just out of sight. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, I burst through the front door, gasping for breath. Rain poured down in torrents, cleansing the stench of malevolence that clung to me. I glanced back, expecting to see the eerie hooded figure, but there was nothing. Only the dark, stormy night lay before me. To this day, I can't shake the chilling memory of that night. The taste of that forbidden pizza still lingers in my nightmares, a constant reminder of the unholy pact I unwittingly entered. So I warn you, dear reader, be cautious of the convenience you seek. For in the world of food delivery, a sinister order awaits those who dare to satisfy their hunger in the darkest of ways. It was a typical Friday night, and my hunger pains pushed me to order food for delivery. I selected a nearby restaurant through a popular app, hoping for a quick and convenient meal. Little did I know that my decision would unravel a chilling tale of a delivery guy with sinister intentions. As I awaited the arrival of my food, I noticed a notification on my phone. It was a message from the delivery person, notifying me of their imminent arrival. The text was brief, but something about it sent a shiver down my spine. There was an odd familiarity to their words, as if they knew more about me than they should. Minutes later, a knock echoed through my apartment. I opened the door to find a man standing before me, a man I had never seen before, yet he looked strangely familiar. He had a disheveled appearance, his eyes darting around nervously. Unease prickled at the back of my mind, but I dismissed it as mere paranoia. The delivery guy handed me the bag of food, his fingers brushing mine in an unsettling manner. I thanked him, ready to close the door, but he lingered, 
his gaze fixed on me. It was a gaze that felt invasive, as if he was peering into the depths of my soul. As days went by and my hunger called for more deliveries, I noticed a pattern. The same delivery guy would appear at my doorstep, no matter which restaurant I ordered from. His presence grew more frequent, and I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. At times, I would glimpse him outside my window, lurking in the shadows. His eyes would meet mine, a chilling smile playing upon his lips. Fear consumed me, and I began to question whether this was a mere coincidence or something far more sinister. I contacted the food delivery app's customer service, sharing my concerns about the persistent delivery guy. They assured me they would look into the matter, but the strange occurrences continued. Each time I placed an order, he would be there, haunting my doorstep with his presence. One stormy night, as lightning illuminated the darkened sky, I noticed a peculiar package amidst my food delivery. It was a small, wrapped box with a note attached, a token of my appreciation for your loyalty. My heart pounded in my chest as I opened it, revealing a collection of personal items, a lock of my hair, a photograph taken from afar, and other mementos that should have remained private. Terror seized me, and I knew that I was dealing with more than a mere stalker. This was a predator, someone who had infiltrated my life through the guise of a delivery person. Their obsession with me knew no bounds, and I was trapped in their twisted game. Fueled by desperation, I contacted the authorities, sharing the evidence of the delivery guy's disturbing behavior. They launched an investigation, and he was apprehended soon after. It turned out he had been using his position as a delivery person to prey upon unsuspecting customers gathering personal information, and engaging in sinister acts of voyeurism. The incident left me scarred, forever wary of the seemingly innocent interactions that take place within the world of food delivery. No longer can I order with ease, for the lingering fear of the persistent stranger haunts my every craving. The face of the delivery guy is etched into my memory, a constant reminder that evil can lurk in the most unexpected places. So my dear friends, be vigilant and cautious. For behind the convenience of food delivery may hide those with twisted desires ready to exploit the trust we place in their hands. Late one night, my hunger pangs raged like a beast within me. With no energy to cook, I turned to the convenience of food delivery. Little did I know that I was about to embark on a nightmarish journey, one that would forever haunt my dreams. I scrolled through countless delivery apps searching for something new and exciting. That's when I stumbled upon an app called The Unknown Cuisine. Its dark, enigmatic logo caught my attention. A silhouette of a hooded figure holding a tray that emitted an eerie glow. Intrigued and fueled by curiosity, I eagerly downloaded the app. The interface was unlike any other I had seen before. It felt as if I had entered a forbidden realm, a secret world of culinary mysteries. The menu was a bizarre assortment of dishes with names that evoked a sense of otherworldly allure. It was both thrilling and unsettling. I chose a dish called Whispers of the Abyss, intrigued by the description that promised a taste beyond comprehension. With trembling hands, I placed my order and anxiously awaited the arrival of my peculiar feast. Time seemed to stretch endlessly, and a sense of unease settled upon me. Just when I was about to cancel my order, a notification chimed on my phone. It was a confirmation, accompanied by a cryptic message. Prepare to have your senses shattered. Minutes later, a knock echoed through my apartment. I opened the door to find a delivery person, their face obscured by a thick scarf and hat. Their presence sent a chill down my spine, but I brushed it off as mere coincidence. After all, I was hungry and had little time for idle thoughts. The delivery person handed me a black, lidded box with an air of solemnity. As I reached into my pocket to retrieve the payment, I noticed their hands, pale, almost translucent, as if they belonged to a phantom. But before I could ponder this strange sight further, the figure vanished into the night. Back in my dimly lit kitchen, I opened the box, revealing a dish that defied imagination. Dark tendrils of smoke slithered from within, caressing my face like icy fingers. The aroma was intoxicating, a blend of sweetness and something sinister lurking beneath. Hesitant but unable to resist, I picked up my fork and took a small bite. Immediately, a sensation of dread and ecstasy clashed within me. 
The flavors danced on my tongue, an amalgamation of pleasure and pain that transcended the ordinary. It was as if I had taken a bite of forbidden knowledge itself. But as I consumed more, something shifted. Shadows swirled around me, whispering in hushed voices that crawled under my skin. The room grew darker, the air thick with an unamiable malevolence. Fear gripped my heart, but an insatiable craving compelled me to continue. Reality distorted before my eyes. The walls oozed with a viscous darkness and grotesque figures writhed in the corners of my vision. I tried to escape, to reject the nightmarish dish, but it had already sunk its hooks deep into my soul. Days turned into nights. I found myself trapped in a never-ending cycle of hunger and horror. The delivery person, an enigmatic figure, appeared at my doorstep each night, bearing a new dish that pushed the boundaries of human comprehension. I was but a puppet, dancing to the tune of a ghastly feast. Now, dear friends, I am forever bound to the unseen order. The taste of the forbidden lingers on my lips, and the darkness of the unknown envelops my every waking moment. I implore you, heed my warning and resist the allure of the mysterious. For within the realm of food delivery lies a sinister force, eager to ensnare those who dare to seek satisfaction beyond the ordinary. Beware the unknown cuisine, for its offerings come at a price you cannot fathom. Once you partake, you may find yourself forever lost in the abyss of culinary terror. Late one stormy night, my hunger gnawed at me like a ravenous beast. With no desire to brave the tempestuous weather, I turned to the convenience of food delivery. Little did I know that my decision would lead me down a path of unimaginable terror. I opened my phone, seeking solace in the familiar food delivery app. But as I perused the options, a new entry caught my eye. An app called Eerie Eats beckoned me with its haunting logo a twisted fork and knife emerging from a pool of darkness. Intrigued by its macabre allure, I succumbed to temptation and tapped on the app. The app's interface was unsettling, its colors a blend of deep crimson and midnight black. The menu featured an array of dishes with names that sent shivers down my spine, from phantom pepperoni pizza to spectral sushi rolls. The offerings exuded an air of ominous mystery. Compelled by morbid curiosity, I selected a dish named Ghoulish Gourmet Platter. The description promised an unforgettable culinary experience, one that would tantalize the taste buds while conjuring visions from the netherworld. With a mix of trepidation and excitement, I placed my order and awaited the arrival of my supernatural feast. Minutes stretched into an eternity as I sat in anticipation. A sudden knock on my door shattered the silence, causing my heart to skip a beat. Opening the door, I was greeted by a delivery person cloaked in a tattered robe, their face hidden beneath the hood. Their presence sent a chill down my spine, but I dismissed it as a mere trick of the imagination, blaming it on the storm's icy breath. They handed me a plain, unmarked box, their touch as cold as death itself. A sense of unease lingered in the air, but my hunger overwhelmed any lingering doubts. I exchanged a few coins for the meal, and the delivery person vanished into the night without uttering a word. In the dim light of my kitchen, I opened the box, unveiling a spread of food that defied the laws of nature. Each dish oozed with an otherworldly aura, and a putrid odor wafted from the platter. The sight alone made my stomach churn, but an inexplicable force compelled me to take a bite. As the first morsel touched my tongue, an unnatural chill enveloped my body. The flavors were a grotesque symphony, a medley of bitterness and decay that clawed at my senses. Dread seeped into my soul, but I couldn't stop myself from consuming more. With each bite, the world around me warped and twisted. Shadows danced along the walls, contorting into grotesque figures that mocked my feeble resistance. Whispers echoed through the room, their words a cacophony of despair and anguish. I was trapped in a nightmarish feast a prisoner to the haunted order. Days turned into weeks and the horrors intensified. The delivery person, a phantom-like figure, continued to appear at my door, offering new and abominable creations. They became a harbinger of my torment, their presence a constant reminder of the inescapable nightmare I had stumbled into. 
My mind fractured, my spirit weakened, as I spiraled deeper into the clutches of Yuri Eats. The boundary between reality and nightmare blurred, and I found myself lost in a shadow-infested labyrinth of my own making. The food that once promised pleasure now held me captive, draining the life from my very being. Beware, my fellow diners, the seductive allure of the unknown. For within the realm of food delivery lurks a malevolence that preys on the hungry and curious. Should you encounter the app Eerie Eats, resist its sinister charms, lest you too become entangled in the never-ending nightmare of the haunted order. It was a quiet evening, and my growling stomach urged me to seek solace in the convenience of food delivery. With a few taps on my phone, I placed an order with a well-known app and eagerly awaited the arrival of my meal. Little did I know that this ordinary act would thrust me into a chilling encounter I would never forget. As the minutes ticked by, a sense of unease settled over me. The delivery time had long since passed, and yet there was no sign of the driver. I glanced out the window, scanning the darkened street, but there was no trace of the familiar delivery car. Just as I began to contemplate calling the restaurant, a sharp knock echoed through my apartment. Startled, I rushed to the door, my heart pounding in anticipation. Opening it, I found myself face to face with a delivery person, their features obscured by a thick hood and a scarf tightly wound around their face. An eerie silence hung in the air as the delivery person handed me the bag. Their hands were gloved, the fabric feeling oddly cold against my skin. I mumbled a quick thank you, but they remained silent, their eyes hidden behind the darkness of their hood. Closing the door, I eagerly unwrapped the package, anticipation mingling with hunger. The aroma of the food filled the room, a tantalizing invitation to feast. But as I reached for a slice of pizza, something caught my attention, a subtle movement in the corner of my eye. I turned my gaze to the uneaten slice, and to my horror I saw it. Squirming beneath the cheese and toppings was a small, wriggling creature, a living nightmare concealed within my meal. My heart raced, and a wave of revulsion washed over me. In a panic, I inspected the rest of the pizza, only to find more of the repulsive creatures lurking within. My appetite vanished, replaced by a nauseating mix of fear and disgust. How could this be happening? How had such abominations found their way into my supposedly safe and familiar meal? I hurriedly discarded the tainted food, my mind racing with questions. Was this a mistake, a twisted prank, or was something far more sinister at play? The image of the delivery person's obscured face haunted me. Who were they, and what intentions lay beneath their enigmatic presence? Days turned into sleepless nights as I grappled with the lingering dread. Shadows seemed to dance in the periphery of my vision, and the sound of faint whispers echoed through my apartment. Paranoia consumed me, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, that something malevolent had been unleashed upon me. From that day forward, I vowed to never trust the ease and convenience of food delivery again. The unseen ingredient had tainted not only my meal, but also my sense of security. I shuddered at the thought of what other horrors may lurk within the seemingly harmless transactions of modern life. Remember, dear friends, to be cautious even in the simplest of indulgences, for behind the familiar facade of food delivery may hide a darkness that seeks to prey upon the unsuspecting. It was a moonlit night, and the air crackled with an otherworldly energy. As a delivery guy, my nights were filled with the mundane task of delivering food to hungry customers. But little did I know that one fateful evening would thrust me into a terrifying journey beyond my wildest nightmares. I received an order like any other, a simple request for a pizza delivery. The destination was a small, isolated house nestled deep within the woods. It sent a chill down my spine, but I dismissed it as my imagination running wild. After all, it was just another delivery. As I drove through the darkened forest, a sense of unease settled over me. The dense trees seemed to loom closer, whispering secrets I couldn't comprehend. Finally. I arrived at the customer's address, an old, dilapidated house that emanated an aura of foreboding. Stepping out of the car, a shiver raced down my spine. The air grew colder, and the silence of the night was deafening. 
With the pizza box in hand, I cautiously approached the front door, my footsteps muffled by the thick layer of fallen leaves. I knocked, and the sound reverberated through the stillness. Moments passed, and just as I was about to leave, the door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit interior. The flickering candlelight cast eerie shadows on a worn-out wallpaper, hinting at a dark secret that lay within. An old man stood before me, his eyes sunken and haunted. His voice quivered as he took the pizza, muttering his thanks. As I turned to leave, his hand shot out, grabbing my arm with a strength that belied his frail appearance. His eyes bore into mine, filled with a mixture of desperation and madness. You must stay, he whispered, his voice laced with a chilling urgency. There is something lurking in these woods. They hunger for fresh souls. Panic gripped my heart, but curiosity overpowered my instinct to flee. What secrets did this old man hold? Reluctantly, I followed him inside, stepping into a world of darkness and dread. The house was a labyrinth of decaying hallways and hidden rooms, each more ominous than the last. Whispers echoed through the air, disembodied voices that sent shivers down my spine. The old man led me to a chamber, its walls adorned with symbols and sigils that seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. He revealed a hidden trapdoor in the floor, exposing a descent into the unknown. With trepidation, we descended into a dimly lit cellar, a sanctuary of fear and despair. There in the flickering candlelight, I saw rows upon rows of delivery guys, their eyes vacant and lifeless. The old man explained the truth. They had all fallen victim to the same cursed house, trapped in an eternal loop of delivery and torment. Their souls forever bound to this wretched place, forever doomed to wander. I tried to escape, but the house was alive, a sinister entity that fed on the souls of the lost. Its walls shifted and closed in, trapping me within its clutches. Desperation consumed me as I fought against the unseen forces that held me captive. In the darkness, I could hear the whispers grow louder, the house hungering for my soul. The faces of the delivery guys stared at me, their eyes pleading for release. As the shadows closed in, I realized my fate was sealed, a perpetual delivery doomed to wander the haunted house for all eternity. So, my dear friends, do wear the deliveries you seek, for some houses hold secrets that devour the unwary. The life of a delivery guy can be filled with horrors beyond imagination. I've always been a night owl, finding comfort in the solitude of late hours. It was during one of these late nights that I stumbled upon a chilling encounter, forever altering my perspective on food delivery services. Gather around, dear reader, as I recount the tale of the Midnight Special. It was a cold winter night, the kind that sends shivers down your spine. With an empty fridge and an insatiable hunger, I turned to the convenience of online food delivery. I placed an order through an app I had never heard of before, Nocturne Bites. The logo seemed innocent enough, a crescent moon casting an eerie glow upon a fork and knife. Minutes later, I received a confirmation message with a peculiar note attached. Satisfy your deepest desires. Intrigued and hungry, I brushed off any sinister implications and waited for my late night feast to arrive. As the clock struck midnight, there was a soft knock on my door. Startled by the punctuality, I hesitated for a moment before swinging it open. Standing on my doorstep was a delivery person, shrouded in darkness. A black hoodie concealed their features and the only glimmers of light came from their eyes, which gleamed like flickering candles. Without uttering a word, the figure handed me a plain, unmarked bag. The scent of warm food wafted from within, captivating my senses. Handing over the payment, my hands brushed against theirs, and a chilling sensation crept up my arm. It was then that I noticed their fingers, unnaturally long and tipped with sharp, claw-like nails. I closed the door, my heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and unease. I eagerly unwrapped the package, revealing an assortment of dishes, each more tantalizing than the last. The aroma was intoxicating, drawing me closer to the abyss of temptation. But as I took my first bite, an unsettling flavor seeped into my mouth. It was as if the essence of darkness had been infused into the food. 
Panic set in, but my hunger overpowered my reason. I devoured the meal with an insatiable appetite, each bite bringing me closer to an otherworldly realm. As I consumed the final morsel, a surge of dizziness overwhelmed me. The room spun, shadows danced, and whispers echoed through the air. Reality itself seemed to unravel, revealing a nightmarish dimension that lay hidden beneath our mundane existence. Terrifying visions invaded my mind. I saw faceless creatures lurking in the shadows, feasting upon the fears and desires of unsuspecting souls. They were the true orchestrators of nocturne bites, harvesting the essence of human cravings to sustain their dark existence. With every bite I had taken, I unknowingly surrendered a piece of my soul to these malevolent entities. I had become a vessel, a pawn in their game of insatiable hunger. The darkness within me grew, gnawing at my sanity and consuming my very being. Days turned into endless nights as I struggled to break free from the clutches of the midnight special. But the more I resisted, the stronger its hold on me became. The once familiar world morphed into a twisted nightmare, where the line between reality and madness blurred beyond recognition. Now I am trapped, forever haunted by the insidious taste of nocturne bites. A warning echoes through the darkest recesses of my mind, urging others to resist the allure of convenience to question the origins of their cravings. For there are forces lurking in the shadows, waiting to exploit our desires and feast upon our souls. Remember my tale, dear friends, and beware the alluring call of the midnight special. It may just consume more than your hunger. It may devour your very essence. It was a rainy evening, and my grumbling stomach begged for nourishment. Seeking respite from the storm, I decided to order food for delivery. Little did I know that this mundane act would lead me down a dark and twisted path, where the line between hunger and fear blurred into a chilling nightmare. I placed my order through a popular food delivery app, eagerly awaiting the arrival of my meal. Minutes turned into an agonizing wait, but finally, a knock echoed through my apartment. I opened the door to find a delivery guy standing there, a smile on his face. His eyes bore into mine with an intensity that sent a shiver down my spine. He handed me the food, his touch lingering a moment too long. I thanked him and closed the door, relieved to be out of his unsettling presence. But as I unpacked the meal, a sense of unease crept over me. A small note slipped out from the packaging, its words etched with an eerie familiarity. Enjoy your meal, my dear. I've been watching you. My heart raced and a cold sweat formed on my brow. How could this delivery guy know anything about me? What did he mean by watching? Fear clutched at my chest, but curiosity mingled with dread, urging me to unravel the mystery. Days turned into weeks, and with each food delivery, the stalker's messages grew bolder. Notes accompanied every meal, revealing intimate details of my life. A recent conversation with a friend the book I had been reading, The Color of the Shirt I Wore That Day. It was as if he had become an omnipresent force, observing my every move. Paranoia consumed me, and I constantly scanned the streets, searching for glimpses of his familiar face. Late at night, I would hear faint footsteps outside my window, the sound of whispered voices carried on the wind. Sleep became an elusive companion, for I knew he was always watching, lurking in the shadows. Determined to uncover the truth, I delved into the depths of the food delivery app, searching for any information that might lead me to my tormentor. To my horror, I discovered that his identity was shrouded in mystery. No name, no photograph, just a faceless figure delivering meals to unsuspecting customers. One fateful evening, as darkness blanketed the city, a chilling revelation struck me like a bolt of lightning. The delivery guy had somehow gained access to my apartment complex. I found hidden cameras strategically placed in the hallways, the stairwell, and even within my own unit. He had transformed my sanctuary into a twisted stage where he watched my every move. Fury and fear surged through my veins. I contacted the authorities, providing them with the evidence of this deranged stalker. They launched an investigation but the delivery guy vanished into the shadows, leaving no trace behind. Even now, as I sit here, recounting my harrowing tale, 
I can't escape the feeling that his eyes are upon me. I am forever haunted by the realization that the convenience of food delivery can become a portal for the twisted minds that prey on vulnerability. So my fellow diners, be vigilant. For the delivery guy who arrives at your doorstep may not be who they seem. They may be lurking in the shadows, watching your every move, and turning your cravings into a nightmare from which you may never wake. It was a dark and stormy night, the kind that makes you crave comfort and warmth. As the rain poured down, I found myself alone and hungry in my dimly lit apartment. The thought of a hot, cheesy pizza seemed like the perfect remedy for my gloomy evening. I reached for my phone, searching for the familiar logo of a popular pizza delivery app. But fate had other plans that night. A notification popped up, urging me to try a new, lesser-known app called Spectral Slices. Intrigued by the name and lured by the promise of unique flavors, I decided to give it a chance. The app's interface was hauntingly elegant, with a black background and ethereal images of mist-covered landscapes. The menu boasted an array of pizzas with names like ghostly margarita and ectoplasmic pepperoni. Excitement tinged with a hint of trepidation coursed through my veins as I placed my order, a medium pizza with a blend of strange and exotic toppings called Midnight Masquerade. As the clock struck midnight, there was a faint knock at my door. Surprised by the promptness, I opened it to find a delivery person, their face hidden behind a hood and scarf. The air grew heavy, and the chill crept up my spine, but I dismissed it as mere coincidence. After all, it was a stormy night, and the atmosphere itself was primed for the supernatural. I paid for the pizza, their gloved hand grasping the money with an icy touch. With a nod, the delivery person turned and disappeared into the night, leaving me alone with my eerie feast. I placed the pizza box on the table, and as I lifted the lid, an otherworldly scent filled the room. The toppings seemed to shimmer under the dim light, casting a haunting glow. Despite an unsettling feeling gnawing at my gut, my hunger got the best of me and I took a hesitant bite. At first, the flavors were unfamiliar but intriguing, dancing on my tongue like a spectral waltz. Yet with each subsequent bite, the taste grew stranger, more unsettling. It was as if each morsel held a secret, a sinister essence that permeated my senses. The room grew colder, shadows twisted and writhed and a sense of unease washed over me. Whispers echoed through the air, barely audible but laden with a malevolent intent. Panic gripped my heart, but I couldn't stop myself from eating. As the last bite disappeared into my mouth, a darkness descended upon the room. The walls seemed to breathe, the furniture contorted into grotesque shapes. Ghostly figures materialized around me, their eyes filled with an insatiable hunger. I had unknowingly opened a doorway to a realm beyond our own. Terrified, I tried to escape, but the room had become a labyrinth of shifting corridors and endless doors. My pleas for help were met with haunting laughter that echoed through the ethereal void. I was trapped in a nightmare from which there seemed to be no escape. Days turned into a haze of torment. The spectral presence clung to my very being, feeding off my fear and devouring my sanity. Shadows danced at the corner of my vision. Whispers echoed through my dreams, and the taste of that cursed pizza lingered, a reminder of my eternal torment. So my friends, heed my warning. Beware the allure of the unknown, for within the world of pizza delivery lies a darkness that can never be unseen. Resist the call of spectral slices, lest you too find yourself trapped in a realm of spectral horrors, forever tormented by the haunting delivery. Gather round, dear souls, as I recount a tale that will chill you to the bone, a story of eerie deliveries and unspeakable horrors. Brace yourselves for the bone-chilling account of the sinister feast. Late one night, when the world slumbered beneath a shroud of darkness, a gnawing hunger gripped me. With no energy to cook, I turned to the convenience of food delivery, unknowingly embarking on a nightmare beyond imagination. I opened my phone and launched a familiar food delivery app, hoping to satiate my cravings. But as I scrolled through the options, a peculiar entry caught my eye. 
An app named Devor Delights beckoned me, its logo an unsettling amalgamation of swirling shadows and a grinning skull. Curiosity peaked, I succumbed to its mysterious allure. The app's interface was unlike anything I had encountered before. The menu offered a myriad of dishes, each with an air of sinister fascination. Dark descriptions and tempting images enticed me, drawing me deeper into a web of curiosity and dread. Feeling both excitement and unease, I selected a dish that seemed innocent enough. The whispering ravioli, little did I know the horrors that awaited me beyond the screen. Within moments, I received a confirmation message with an unsettling note attached, prepare for an unforgettable dining experience. Goosebumps crawled up my arms, but my growling stomach dismissed any reservations. Time seemed to stretch as I waited for my meal. An eternity passed before a knock finally resounded on my door. I swung it open to find a delivery person clad in a tattered cloak that obscured their face. Shadows clung to their presence, a prelude to the horrors about to unfold. They handed me a plain, unmarked bag, their gaze never meeting mine. A chill ran down my spine as our fingers brushed, their touch as cold as death itself. I dismissed it as a trick of my imagination, too hungry to heed the warning signs. Alone in the dimly lit room, I unwrapped the package. A putrid odor filled the air, and my hunger turned to apprehension. The contents revealed a dish unlike any I had ever seen, ravioli dripping with a black, viscous sauce that seemed to pulse with an unholy energy. Reluctantly, I took a bite, and an explosion of flavors assaulted my senses. A blend of decadence and something far more sinister. The taste was a cacophony of ecstasy and despair, an intoxicating mixture that played a wicked symphony upon my tongue. With each bite, the world around me warped. The walls blowed with dark tendrils, and the room became a grotesque stage where shadows danced to an eerie melody. Whispers seeped into my mind, tormenting me with their maddening secrets. I was trapped within a nightmare of my own making. Try as I might, escape eluded me. The ravioli possessed me, devouring not just my hunger, but also my very essence. Days blurred into nights as I spiraled deeper into this demonic feast. The delivery person, an embodiment of spectral dread, appeared at my door each night, bearing a new dish that pushed the boundaries of human sanity. Now, I am but a husk, a prisoner of Devar delights, forever consumed by its malevolent offerings. My soul withers as I wander the shadowy corridors of an existence where the line between pleasure and suffering is forever blurred. Beware, my fellow souls, the seductive call of convenience. For within the realm of food delivery lies a darkness that preys on our appetites, feasting upon our desires until there is naught left but an insatiable emptiness.